Hello and welcome to EC Electronics. So this video is an introduction video to coding theory. In this video we will be discussing about fixed length coding and variable length coding and also we will be doing some examples on how to do the fixed length and variable length coding. Okay, so I have tried to uh, make this video in an exam point of view including as much of details as possible. So let's see what is fixed length coding and variable length coding and also we will be seeing an introduction to coding theory. So this video is an introduction to coding theory. So we have already discussed that there are mainly two type of codings based on where we are actually going to code or we are going to perform the coding. So in a communication uh, system, we have discussed about the structure of a communication system or the Shannon modeling of communication system in the introduction to uh, ITC video. Okay, so there is a source and also there is a channel. So you can perform the coding in the source and also you can perform coding in the channel. So if you perform coding in source, it is called source coding. And if you perform coding in channel, it is called channel coding. Okay. Now the source coding is done in order to compress your information. So the source is the place where the information or the message is getting generated. And in order to compress the uh, message or the size of, in order to compress the size of the message, we do source coding. And the aim of performing channel coding is to avoid errors or in order to combat errors while the message or the signal is traveling through the channel. So that is the purpose of the two codings, source coding and channel coding. Now that is based on the where we are actually performing the coding. And based on the uh, length of the code word which has been generated, we can categorize the, uh, the coding as two fixed length coding and variable length coding. So this is the main topic of this video. We are going to see the classification between fixed length coding and variable length coding. So the name itself is specifying what uh, this coding actually meaning. Okay, so fixed length coding means the code word generated for every sim symbol will be having a fixed length. Whereas variable length coding means when a message is having various symbols, the various symbols will be having various code words with different lengths. Okay, let's see that uh, in a more clarity in this video. So first we are going to see about fixed length coding or FLC and then we'll be seeing the variable length codings. Okay. So the first type of coding that we are going to see is fixed length coding. So in fixed length coding, as I said earlier, each symbol is is having a code with the same number of bits okay so the number of bits in the code word for all the symbols are same so if you say like a definition you can say that if the symbols that we are trying to encode are with equal probability so here also we consider this thing that all the symbols is having same probability this is one assumption while doing the fixed length coding so if the symbols are having same probability then we, we can draw a binary tree when performing a, a fixed length coding whose leaves, these A, B, C, D, we consider as leaves. Okay, so these leaves are at same distance from the root node. So this is the root node and they are at same distance from the root node. Distance means length of code word here. So distance of the leaf A is this 0, 0. And it is 2, here also 2, here also 2 and here also 2. So the code words of A, B, C, D are of having same lengths. That's why we are saying that all the leaves are having same distance from the root node. So this is your root node. Okay. So what is the fixer length coding? The fixer length coding is a coding in which we assume that all the symbols are having equal probability and all symbols are having code words with same number of bits or same length code words. Okay, so that is a fixed length coding. So this is just an example 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 are the codes for A, B, C, D and all, ha all the codes are having two bits. Okay, now let's consider another example where we are coding for symbols A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. There are eight symbols. 4 and 4, 8 symbols. And since there are 8 symbols, you can write 8 is 2 raised to 3, right? So, there is 8 equal to 2 raised to 3. 
and each chord word will have will be having three bits okay so you can write 8 equal to 2 raised to n and it should be n bits each chord word should be having n bits here n is 3 so there is 3 bits now i'm just going to write a simple example of sending a message uh, out of these symbols so i'm going to send a message called cab c a b so the cab message is having three symbols c a and b now the total code word for this message will be for c it is 010 right for a it is 000 and b it is 001 so the code word for cab is 010 000 and 001 so since the uh, coding we are doing is fixed length how many how, however be the uh, number of bits there are you have to divide it equally okay so there are how many bits here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so 9 you have to divide e these bits you have to divide equally and you will be getting how many 3 3 and 3 so the receiver will be also knowing that the length of the code word is that is length of each code word is 3 bits so it will be dividing by 3 okay so total 9 divided by 3 then there are three symbols okay then it will be decoding for various symbols so the first symbol is 010 and it is corresponding to c right then 000 that is corresponding to a then 001 is corresponding to b and this is how the recovery is done at the receiver side the receiver should be also knowing that the length of each code word is 3 and hence whatever uh, message it is receiving it will be dividing by 3 and then it will be trying to decode for various symbols okay likewise the decoding is done so this is a simple example of fixed length coding now we are going to see about the variable length coding the next type of coding that we are going to see is variable length coding so from the name itself it is very clear that variable length coding has code words for various symbols with variable lengths okay the examples of variable length coding are Huffman coding, very important, then arithmetic coding, Lampel-Civ coding, then shannon fano coding. So from these four examples, these are some of the examples of VLC or variable length coding. We will be discussing these two, the Huffman coding and also the shannon fano Okay, so if you go on studying various codes and its subcodes in coding theory, there is a lot to study, but within the syllabus, the most important things which are included are Huffman and Shannon Fano coding. Okay, so we'll be discussing these two very soon. So just know that these are some of the examples. Okay, now the classification of variable length coding based on the nature of the codes, we can have two most important classification. The first one is non-singular VLC or variable length code. So when a uh, code word is said to be non-singular if each source symbol is mapped to a different non-empty bit string okay so all the symbols should be mapped to different non-empty bit string okay now i've written two codes here out of which one is there are two coding schemes m1 and m2 one is non-singular one is not non-singular the first one I have included is not non-singular. Okay. Now why it is called not non-singular? Let's see. So there are three symbols A, B and C. If you see uh, the code word of A is 0. B is having also code word of 0. C is having code word of 1. Let us ignore the length of the code words uh, for just a moment. But think uh, about the code words of A and B. They are exactly the same. But if the coding is non-singular VLC or variable length coding, then the code words should be entirely different. Okay. So I'll read out the uh, definition once again. A code is non-singular if each source symbol, that is ABC, is mapped to a different non-empty bit string. But here it is not followed because these two symbols have same codes. So this is not non-singular. Now let us consider another example. You can have a if n number of examples, but just I've written a very uh, simple example. 
a is 1 b is 0 1 1 c is 0 1 1 1 0 here all the three are having entirely different chord words okay so it is non singular okay i hope it is clear moving on to the next classification of variable length coding that is called prefix coding okay i'll read out the definition but i'm pretty sure that the definition is very confusing but we'll discuss while uh, explaining these symbol and its code words okay so prefix code means a code is a prefix code if no target bit string in the mapping is a prefix of the target bit string of a different source symbol in the same mapping okay that is you know the definition the meaning is there is a code for a which is zero b has is a code of is having code of one zero c is having code of one one zero d have code of one 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 and here no code word is a prefix of another code word that is the meaning okay there is no prefix starting here no there is no one zero as a prefix of any other code word we can see it that there is no one zero as a prefix one prefix means it should be the initial two bits no right and also 110 there is no 110 as a prefix or at the beginning of another code word okay so that rule is followed and it is called a prefix coding okay so this is an example of prefix coding a0 b10 c110 d111 that is no code word is the prefix or the beginning bit or beginning two bits of another code word okay now let's see an example of sending a message here Okay, I'll remove this and I'll write it. So there are another classifications of VLC also, but we don't have to study all the classification. In order to progress in our coding theory, we have to study these two. Okay. Now I'm going to send a message of A, A, B, A, C, D, A, B. This is my message. How many symbols are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 symbols are there. Now I am going to write the code word corresponding to these symbols. There is a 0, then there is A, there is again a 0, then there is a B, it is a 1, 0, then there is a A, again a 0, then there is a C, it is a 1, 1, 0, then there is a D, it is a 1, 1, 1, A, there is a 0, B, there is a 1, 0. Okay, so this is the code word corresponding to the message now here no bit is a prefix of another bit okay so we have so i'm really uh, hoping that you understood what is fixed length coding and what is variable length coding we'll be discussing about the codes these are actually classifications these are not the type of codes or the examples of codes we are now uh, studying all the basic things okay of coding theory so we have discussed that there is channel coding there is source coding and also based on the length of the code words produced you can classify the coding as fixer length and variable length coding which we have discussed in this video and i'm really hoping that you found the video useful if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching